Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam, I'm a medical student at Cambridge, and today we're going to be doing some UCAT questions. A lot of you have asked me for more study with me videos for the UCAT especially, and today we're going to do a few questions on Medify. So let's quickly open up Medify and make sure we're recording. If you also want to use Medify, do go in the description below, there are some links will take you to the website. Medify is one of the things I used to prepare when I applied, so I also suggest it for you guys. And let's go down to the uh, abstract reasoning questions. So we're going to do a variety of different questions. Okay, let's get going. So we've got set A and set B. So A, we've got triangles with um, clearly a circle, and set B, we've got like a quadrilateral. One, two, three, yeah, quadrilateral with a triangle. So yeah, set A, triangle with a circle on each corner. Yeah, we go, yeah. And then set B, we've got a quadrilateral with a triangle in each corner. Now, in terms of how the triangles are orientated, here we can see that the triangle, the flat side is always facing the corner, the vertex, or the flat side is facing the vertex. It's very important. Okay, so, this is first straight. We've got a black quadrilateral, um, the triangle, so it should be set B. However, as I said, in set B, the triangle, uh, it always has the flat side facing the corner of the quadrilateral, whereas here that isn't the case. I'm going to say neither there, right here. Uh, we have a quadrilateral, yep, that's set B, the triangle, and the flat side of the triangle is facing, or it's like, you know, uh, in line with the, the quadrilateral, so that's set B. Um, here again, we have another quadrilateral, so set B, the triangle, and um, we have, we have um, the flat side of the triangle facing the corner of the quadrilateral. Now what I'm thinking is actually the shading of this triangle is very different to the shading in these shapes. So do you see it's much finer? So that's something I'm concerned about. So let's go back to the previous question. Yeah, so I thought it would be. Okay, so that's just a question, I think. That's just these display shapes. They just have you know a similarity of all being much finer than in these shapes. I'm not going to uh, say neither. I think this is a B. Um, here again we have another black quadrilateral with the same type of triangle setup. So um, I think it's a B. And here we have a triangle with a circle um, at the corner of the triangle, so it's set A. Um, okay, let's quickly mark that and see what we get here. Fantastic, all correct. So let's do some more uh, some more questions. Um, hopefully you guys are following so far. Okay, so next question. We've got a series here, um, white triangle, black circle, black, black triangle, white circle, uh, black circle, white triangle, black, white circle, black triangle. So I know automatically I need to have a uh, white circle, so white triangle with a black circle. So one, two, three work, okay, four and five don't because we have a black triangle and a white circle. So we can get rid of those immediately. So if you need to guess now, I can just guess between you know one, and one to three. So let's make a, let's look at something else. Let's look at the direction of the um, the triangles. So here the triangles facing the top left. Then here facing the bottom left. Then here the bottom right. Then here the bottom or the top uh, right. So I know the triangle should be facing the top left in this one. So here it isn't facing there. In this shape it isn't facing there. Okay, here I have the triangle facing the top left corner. I think that's the answer. So let's do some more. Um, some more questions and then we'll move on. So this question is now based on set. So um, I have square, some circles, square circles, so this rectangle here, some circles, square circles, square circles, square circles. Okay, that's very interesting. Then here I also have sort of square circles, square circles, square circles. So nothing immediately apparent to me, so it's a bit of a question where I'm like, okay, this is going to take some time maybe. So maybe so maybe let's count some things up. So maybe let's quickly count. Um, I have a white seven there, eight. That doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, okay, let's go counting. That's four circles. Um, so four circles. One rectangle and triangle, so that's what eight. Um, eight, seven there. Eight, nine. Some of these are very interesting, actually. Um, hold on, 
a symmetry of something defined. I think I've got it. So just looking at the shapes very quickly. Um, so here, wherever I have a a sort of dotted sort of shape, it looks like I've got three circles. Here I've got a dotted, dotted shape, I've got five circles. Here I've got also dotted shapes, I've got five circles. So in set A, wherever I have like a dotted um, like square, sorry, not circle, I've got an odd number of circles. Here I've got four sides, four circles. Seven sides of like the solid shapes have got four circles. The solid shape here have got two circles. So in set A, it looks at like the rule is when I, whenever I have like a solid um, outline shape, I've got an even number of circles. Whenever I have a dotted um, outline shape, I've got an odd number of circles. Let's see if it works for set B. So here I've got a solid outline square with an odd number of circles. Okay, great. Um, triangle doesn't get yeah, perfect. So you know, dotted. Dot a triangle, therefore I've got, I've got even uh, even number of dots. So let's do this very quickly. Um, solid odd, this is solid odd, that's dotted even, no, let's say, great. Uh, which of the following test shapes belongs to set B? So in set B, my rule is of solid shape, uh, solid outline shape, I've got an odd number of circles, dotted outline shape, I've got an uh, even number of circles. So I need to have this, I've got an even number, I'm sorry, I've got an uh, I've got a solid, so many words, I've got a solid um, outline shape here, so an odd number of circles, that, that fits it. Here I've got a solid shape, but a, an even number, which doesn't work. Dotted outline shape, an odd number, doesn't work. Dotted outline shape, and an uh, odd number, I need an even number of circles, so that doesn't work. That was the first one, good. Which of the following test shapes belong to set A? Okay, so again, my rule is, I know my rule, so let's go through here. That's dotted. Odd. That's I know the answer. To that. That's the answer. Wait, like I need to look any further. Which of the following belongs set B? Um, well, this is uh, a dotted, but I've got an even number of circles. Actually, that works as well. Great. All of these are the first answer. This is fantastic. Um, okay, let's keep going. Uh, which of the following belongs set A? So set A. Um, that well, that's like a shaded shape. Doesn't work at all. Uh, dot line even no. Solid outline shape odd no it doesn't work dotted line odd perfect so uh, let's pick them up these and go back so do you see like once we work out the rule for these sorts of set A set B questions we can very quickly fly through the answers and find the correct ones uh, it doesn't take much time at all yeah do you see fourteen seconds fourteen seconds and yes you've actually um, got all of them right let's do some more okay first question uh, so triangles up here then triangle moves down one then moves down again there. And moves across so the triangle, sort of going around the circle. So the triangle is here. So in my final shape, the triangle should be in the bottom right corner. So it's going to be yeah, all of them have that. Now I've got the uh, donut here. Donut goes up one there. Donut goes to the top. Donut comes down again. So donut should be in the bottom one. So it's going to be either two or three or four. The X is uh, on the in the middle right. Then the X goes. So it's doing like an L shape maneuver to go there. Yep, then it does like another L shaped maneuver to go to the top part there. It's like how a, is it like, I think a knight moves in chess, then this X and move, does another sort of upside down L move there. So if this does another L move there, then I should have the X in that top. Yeah, unless the L move goes around like that. Yes, I think so. So yes, the X is going to move like an L shape up to there. So I think the answer is going to be. That was quite an interesting one. The way the L moves is pretty peculiar, but it seems like the L sort of moves round the outside of the, the square. That was correct, great. Um, let's just keep going. These are really fun, actually. Okay, next question. Uh, I've got a series, so I've got okay, a triangle, one, two, three sides, square, four sides, one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Okay, so I've got three, four, six. Then I've got another six. That's very peculiar. So I've got a triangle, three, four, six. But there's one side missing from the square. What? This is hard. 
thought it was going to be like 3, 4, 5, 6, but it doesn't do that. Okay, so maybe what's been happening is, look here, we had a triangle, and that triangle just switched to a square. And that square then spawned a triangle and a missing. Hmm. So maybe one of these triangles can turn to a square. I'm just going to guess this one. This is hard. In the exam, I don't think I can spend any time on this question. It's one of many questions, and the yield you know, of that question, understanding the rule there, oh, I've got a correct result. Fair enough. But I spent 93 minutes on that. Sorry, 93 seconds. Incorrect. There are two corners. Oh, the number of corners. Oh, sure, okay. Okay, fair enough. One, two, three corners, four corners, five corners, six corners. Oh, oh that was a reason for guessing, I guess. But, um, yeah, in the exam, I wouldn't have spent too long on that one. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got a, the rectangle sort of circuit rotates by 90 degrees. So um, that's all right. And then I've got two evenly sized circles for the... Okay, so here I've got a big circle, a small circle. And then a black triangle, a black star and a... So first it looks like all the shapes sort of come to a uniform size. So it's going to be um, either one, three, or four. And it looks like here we have the circles on opposite sides, but then they come on the same side. So, there, so here, because I've got the triangles on the same side, I believe will be on opposite sides um, in the final shape. Good. Very good. Um, then here I've got the things on the same side, they should be on opposite sides. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe it rotates like that. Yeah, so I think what happens is. This shape rotates by 90 degrees in that way, and they, these two swap sides. I think it's going to swap, this is going to rotate that way. Then the, um, so it'll look like this. Then the black triangle should be um, there, and the white triangle there. I think it's this one, right? Next. Let's check it. Again, I spent a long time on that. I don't even know if it's correct, but we'll see. We're practicing. That's the that's the question of practicing. Yeah, it's correct. But again, two minutes in that question. So as you can see, my timing is a bit rusty at the moment, but yeah, it's all part of the rhythm. So so today said B. Um, let's quickly look at this. So I've got a black square. The square I've got uh, black dots. The circle I've got white dots. Easy. Um, here I've got. Uh, sorry, for the square I've got a white dot in the middle, for the black circle I've got a black dot. So just going by that simple rule, we get that much time, set B. I'm just going to count actually, that adds up to... Okay, and also, in the squares I always have even number of circles, and the circles I've always got odd number of circles, whereas here in the squares I've always got odd, and here I've always got even number of circles. This is a square with an odd number of circles, that must be set B. Here I've got a circle with an even number of white. But you see, so this would be set A, but because the number of circles is even, it would be neither, because it doesn't fit it, you know, it needs an odd number of circles in the middle. So this is a square with white circles, it's going to be set B, but it's got four circles there, because neither again, it should have odd number of circles. A black circle with what to be five, so again, uh, if it's odd number of circles in the middle, it should be set A, and, you know, we also have black square, black circles and black circles, so that should be set B, so again, neither, so all of them neither. Um, so here I've got a black square with black circles, I guess it's set A, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, good, set A. We have an even number of circles, which is what set A also has. So let's just come up that, and let's see what we get. Gosh, a lot of work to do here. Um, yeah, all great, fantastic. 
Yeah, I mean, that's better. So clearly, I'm faster at certain sections than others. It's a set of A to B. Um, this is very interesting. Oh, okay, fair enough. So I've got like obviously um, this sort of cross, like curvy cross shape here. Then I've got more um, rounded rectangles here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go where that always was there. Um, so is it going to be No, I don't have that. Right, in the exam, I'm just gonna go bang, bang, bang. Let's just bang these. Yeah, that's fine. That was like a, a really quick section, but I didn't bother looking into it all. It was a very complicated section. Okay, I got two incorrect there. So let's see why I do incorrect. What was the rule? Always one concave shape, yes. Right, you guys can read this for me. In two circles. Oh, oh sure, okay, maybe, you know, okay, fine. That was white. Right, so I've got a uh, the clock here, different shapes on the outside. Um, this is facing five, five o'clock, eight o'clock, three o'clock, one o'clock. So five times if I had, let's say five is ten. Oh no, this is difficult. Okay, so five add um, if five is ten, then I've got eight add two is ten. We have to be six. One at four, it doesn't matter. One at four is five. Um, this is a series actually, so there should be like a progression of some sort. So, firstly, give me a minute, that's 25, that's 40, that's 15, that's five. Again, okay, I don't have time for this. I'm just going to be it's going to be something like further on, so it can't be this. Um, I'm just going to go for that. That looks kind of reasonable, but then it doesn't work for that, will it? Because that's four, and that's one. Uh, because that doesn't work, I think I'm going to, have to think of it like backwards. I think that's something that. Um, okay, that So, um, A is a correct answer. Oh, A is a correct answer. Why? Um, number of hands. Oh, okay. I should have multiplied. I tried. Oh, I started multiplying, but then I went to addition. Um, why did you do that? Okay, the number of the hand my clock is pointing to is multiplied by the number of sides and the shape outside the clock. A square number is odds. Yeah, if you move, move along sequence, the square number is decrease in value. Never mind. Let's do some more questions. Okie dokie, so how? This is to that, and this is to that. So, what else can you do? It's all a bit shaded. Okay, so let me choose, choose the right one. Wow, that's pretty cheeky shading though. Because you see, the keys are very different. So, tops, the top is always facing that way, and the bottom is always facing that way. So, I need to. What is this doing here? Why is it all so different? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I forgot this. Oh, I've got it. Okay. If the odd number, of, if it's got odd number of sides are facing that way, if the even number of sides are facing that way, okay, that's pretty easy. So, this one from here, there should be facing that way. No, it should be facing that way. That's odd. And then next one should be facing that way. That's. Okay, this is also odd. Uh, that's also odd. What's that? What is this? Oh, bar. So, yes, because the um, depending on the number of sides, the shading was in a certain direction. That was a, that was the actual complication. Oh, that's incredible. Hmm. I think this question is incorrect. So, my answer is actually quite popular. But also, that. That was my rule there. 
Oh no, did I? Ah, I overlooked it. Oh, damn it. Okay, I made a silly mistake. I realized the rule, but I just implemented it stupidly. And I just made a silly mistake there. Because I said to you that my bag second should go that way, but then I chose the wrong answer. Right, let's do one more question. Okay, one more of these. So, um, yikes. That doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thanks. One, two, that times eight. So that's gonna be sixteen. Okay, that doubles, that doubles, that's times by three, because the circle's one side, and that's three again. If it doubles if a circle goes to triangle, let's just do that. That should go to that's four. So that should go to eight. Yeah, that's that so far. Then it's got one two sides, that's doubled, that goes to diamond, then eight hexagon should go to yeah, the star with twelve sides because that's one two times six, so that's four twelve, that's should be correct. Fantastic, good, fifty nine seconds again, long time. Oh, I still one more question to finish. Right, oh the set of questions, then we'll finish. So um, we have, yikes, okay, um, lots of arrows going on here, got it, okay, did I get it? No, I don't. Mm, I thought it was a number of arrows, so here you have like an even number of arrows, like an even number, an even number, filled in an even number. Ah, okay, here you always have a black arrow, and here you always have a white arrow. But you always have two white arrows, or, you know, hmm. Interesting. Okay, here you always have one black arrow, but here you always have one black arrow. So I always went for the top. Hmm. One, two, three shapes, one, two, three shapes, one, two shapes, one, two, three, four, five shapes. But again, that doesn't seem to make a difference. Oh, okay, I got it. All the arrowheads are facing that way, whereas here the arrowheads are facing that way, except in this one, which is a bit of an exception. This is a double ended one. Mm. Okay, let's use my rule for now. I'm just gonna go through this. So set A, the arrowhead should be facing that way. So it's most likely to be that. No. B, C, T, that. Set A. Then B, that. Let's mark it and see what happens. Okay, so we've got four out of five correct. Why was this one wrong? Oh, that was the correct one. Why was it correct there? It's got one, two facing that way, but it's also set A. There are always two white arrows pointing to the right, and there's one black arrow pointing to the left. Okay, fair enough. That's true, actually. All two white arrows pointing to the right, and one to the left. Okay, okay, cool, fair enough. Nice one to correct. Well, hope that was useful for you guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, 
and hopefully it was nice sort of seeing how I'm thinking through questions. Um, of course, my methods aren't always perfect. I'm sure a lot of you have much better methods to get the right scores. But this video is just, you know, for those of you who are in general starting off with your revision and just to give you guys an idea of how I'm going through it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this video very useful. I'll speak to you guys soon.